Hello everyone! Welcome to another review session. This time, I'm going to show you some sentences and identify the errors in grammar, mechanics, and usage. You may comment down below your score. Number 1. Among the ladies, whom do you think is the most stunning? A. Whom? B. Do you think? C. Is the most? D. Stunning? E. No error. The answer is letter A. Whom? Whom is an interrogative pronoun which is used to refer to the object of a verb or a preposition. Now, let us go back to the sentence. It is asking for a subject which is one of the ladies. Therefore, what should be used as the interrogative pronoun in that sentence? It should be who. Who is used to refer to the subject of a sentence? Now, let us correct the sentence. Among the ladies, who do you think is the most stunning? Number 2. I will talk about Kung Fu Panda, the most entertaining movie that I have watched. A. Will talk. B. Most entertaining. C. Movie. D. Have watched. E. No error. The answer is letter E. No error. Number 3. The man who paid me a visit last night could be him. A. Paid. B. A visit. C. Him. D. Could be. E. No error. The answer is letter C. Him. Why? Now, this is somewhat confusing. Because if you try to read the sentence, it seems that it's correct. However, the pronoun referent is erroneous there, which is him. As you can see, the man is a subject. Therefore, it should be a subject pronoun and him is not a subject pronoun, which is the pronoun referent as used in the sentence. What should it be? It should be he. So you say, the man who paid me a visit last night could be he. If you are confused, try to substitute the man with the pronoun he. So you say, he paid me a visit last night. Because if you're going to say, him paid me a visit last night, that will be very wrong. Number four. The teacher assured that the presentation would turn out all right. A. All right. B. The teacher. C. Would. D. Turn out. E. No error. The answer is letter A. All right. All right there is misspelled. Although that is acceptable in uh, informal writing, however, in formal writing, it's not the way how it is spelled. What should it be? All right should be written as two words. So you say all, A double L, and then right, R I G H T. Number five. Juicy scored high in the test because she finds him easy. A. Scored. B. In the test. C. Finds. D. Him. E. No error. The answer is letter D. Him. Why is him incorrect in the sentence? Because it's not the correct pronoun referent of the antecedent test. Him is only used for a person, a male in particular, and the test is not a person. So, what should be the correct pronoun referent for the test? It should be it. So, let's correct the sentence. Juicy scored high in the test because she finds it easy. Number 6. One of the doctors are my sister-in-law. A. One of. B. Doctors. C. R. The sister-in-law. E. No error. The answer is letter C. R. Why is R the answer? 
why is R incorrect there? When we say one of the doctors or one of the many, it just talks about only one. So what should it be? Is it R? Do you use a singular subject for R? No. So it should be is. So let's correct the sentence. One of the doctors is my sister-in-law. Number seven. I did not wrote it because I was very nervous. A. Wrote. B. It. C. Because. D. Very nervous. E. No error. The answer is letter A. Wrote. So what is the rule? If you use the helping verbs did, do, and does, the next verb or the main verb should be in the base form. When we say base form, it's in the simple present tense and an S, a D, or an ED are not added to the word or to the verb unless if the verb ends in S or D or ED. So, you say, I did not write it because I was very nervous. This is really one of the most common mistakes that students are committing. So please take note of that. Number eight, our professor thinks that she will be all right. Wouldn't you? A thinks, B will be, C all right, D willn't you, E no error. The answer is letter D, willn't you? That is a tough question, however, it's not properly written. What should be the correct tag question in that sentence? So you do not say willn't, but you say won't you. So let's correct the sentence. Our professor thinks that she will be all right. Won't you? Number nine. Cite a word that is synonymous to lazy. A. Cite. B. A word. C. That is. D. Synonymous. E. No error. The answer is letter A. Cite. The word cite there is not properly used. So what is the appropriate word? Is that the correct spelling? No. Okay, so it should be cite spelled as C-I-T-E. When you say cite, you should mention an example. Number 10. The secretary and the writer are in the meeting. A. Secretary B. R. C. In D. The meeting E. No error The answer is letter B. R. You may be wondering. The secretary and writer are two, right? And why is it that R is incorrect there? And it seems that the subject is plural. But if we try to observe, the determiner the is only one. Therefore, it may be talking about only one person. And it really talks about one person. The secretary and writer is only one. But... If we say the secretary and the writer, we have two subjects there. However, in that sentence, the secretary and writer, there's only one subject. So let's correct the sentence. The secretary and writer is in the meeting. Number 11. The shepherd lost a sheep and he didn't know who to ask for help. A. Lost B. Didn't know C. Who D. Ask E. No error The answer is letter C. Who Who here is not used anymore as an interrogative pronoun. It's already used as a relative pronoun. Now, if we go back to the difference between who and whom, who talks about the subject in the sentence and whom talks about the object of a verb or a preposition. This time, we have an object of the preposition. So if we say, the shepherd asked for help from whom? 
So it may be from him, from her, or from anybody. So let's correct the sentence. A shepherd lost a sheep and he didn't know whom to ask for help. Number 12. The children loves to play under the sun. A loves, B to play, C under, D the sun, E no error. The answer is letter A, loves. Basic rule. If you use I, you, we, they, or more than one subject or plural, the verb should be in the base form. What's the base form of the verb again? When we say base form, it's in the simple present tense and it doesn't have an S, D, or ED unless if that is the last letter of the verb. So let's correct the sentence. The children love to play under the sun. Number 13. The table whose legs are broken is now being repaired. A table, B whose, C are broken, D being repaired, E no error. The answer is letter B, who's. Now why is who's incorrect there? Because who's there is just a contraction of who is. Do you say the table, who is legs are broken? It's erroneous, right? So what should we use there? We need to use the relative pronoun, whose, which is spelled as W-H-O-S-E. So let's correct the sentence. The table, whose legs are broken, is now being repaired. Number 14. The number of health workers in the municipality are now decreasing because of the pandemic. A. R. B. Decreasing. C. Because. D. Of. E. No error. The answer is letter A. R. If we use the expression the number, it's singular. So you do not say the number are, but you say the number is. So let's correct the sentence. The number of health workers in the municipality is now decreasing because of the pandemic. But if you say a number, that is plural. Number 15. During our online class, there has been too many distractions. A. Online B. Class C. Has D. Too many E. No error The answer is letter C. Has The word there there is used as an expletive. If you say expletive, it is used to get the sentence moving. And the verb after it should agree with the noun that follows after the verb. So in the sentence, the word distractions is plural. Therefore, the verb should also be plural. So what should it be? It should be have. So you say, during our online class, there have been too many distractions. Remember that have is used for I, you, we, they, and plural subjects while has is used for she, he, it, and only one subject. Number 16. My classmates have not passed their performance tasks and I haven't neither. A. Passed. B. There. C. Haven't neither. D. Tasks. E. No error. The answer is letter C. Haven't neither. You may pronounce it as haven't neither. Why? You cannot have two negatives at a time because it will be redundant. So instead of saying haven't neither or haven't neither, you say haven't either. So let's correct the sentence. My classmates have not yet passed their performance tasks and I haven't either. Number 17. The maid went to buy mangoes apples and bananas in the market a went b to buy c mangoes d in the market 
E. No error. The answer is letter E. The sentence doesn't have an error. Number 18. The committee is having different thoughts about the project. A. The committee. B. Is. C. Thoughts. D. About. E. No error. The answer is letter B. Is. You may be wondering again, why is is the incorrect word here? In fact, committee is a collective noun here. Therefore, it should be considered as one. Now, this is now how complicated English is. If we try to examine the sentence, the word different thoughts here talks about more than one individual. Therefore, committee here is considered as plural. So we say, the committee are having different thoughts about the project. However, if we say thought only, we say the committee is having a simple thought about the project. Confusing, right? But if we follow the rules, we won't be confused. Number 19. Here come the best singer in the world. A. Come. B. Best singer. C. In the world. D. Here. E. No error. The answer is letter A. Come. Just like there, which is an expletive, the verb that will be used should also agree with the noun following the verb. So what is the noun there or what's the subject there? The best singer. And the best singer is only one. Going back to the rule of grammar, if we talk about only one subject, the verb should also be singular. It should have an S. Therefore, the answer or the correct sentence should be, Here comes the best singer in the world. Number 20. Lisa, have you tried to be in a ferry boat? A. Have B. Tried C. B. D. In E. Ferry boat I just forgot to put no error Okay, so the answer is letter D. In For a boat, you use in if it's an open space or an open craft such as a rowing boat However, if the boat is enclosed, you use on. So we say we are in a boat for an open craft. We are on a ferry boat because it's enclosed. Just like ship. We do not say we are in a ship, but we say we are on a ship. Number 21. I expect you to pass us your homework tomorrow. A. Expect B. Passes C. Homework D. Tomorrow E. No error The answer is letter B. Passes The infinitive to should follow a verb in the base form. I believe you are already familiar with the base form. So let's correct the sentence. I expect you to pass your homework tomorrow. Number 22. I think I see a monster in the woods last night. A. C. B. A monster. C. In the woods. D. Last night. E. No error. So what's the answer? Letter A. C. Why is it incorrect? A. Last night is already done. It's already finished. Therefore, your verb should be in the past tense, correct? What is the past tense of C? So, let's correct the sentence now. I think I saw a monster in the woods last night. Number 23. The fat baby was born on January 2021. A. Fat baby B. Was born C. On E. January E. No error 
The answer is letter C, on. On is used if it's a complete date. So for example, the fat baby was born on January 19, 2021. We use in for a month only. I was born in January or a year only or a month and year combined. So if we correct the sentence now, we say the fat baby was born in January 2021. Number 24. My mother, together with her siblings, is planning something. A. My mother. B. Together with. C. Is. D. Planning. E. No error. The answer is letter E. No error. You may be wondering why it doesn't have an error. In fact, if we try to see the sentence, siblings is a word or is a noun which is plural, right? However, mother is the subject in the sentence and it should agree with the verb. So you say, my mother is planning something. Remember, you just focus on the subject, not the complements, just the subject. Number 25. We will have our classes in September 13. A. In. B. Will have. C. Classes. D. September. E. No error. The answer is letter A. In. So just like in the previous example, we have no day. A. Therefore, it should be in. But here, it does have a day. It's 13th. It's the 13th of September. Therefore, you use on. So we say, we will have our classes on September 13th. However, if we remove the day there, just September, we say in September. Number 26. My dad is the most industrious person that I've known. A. Dad. B. Most industrious. C. Person. D. I've known. E. No error. The answer is letter A. Dad. Dad is only capitalized if you regard it as a proper noun. And it doesn't have any possessive pronoun or any article we just say dad is the most industrious person that i've known so you capitalize dad even though it's not the beginning of a sentence for example i saw dad in the room so in that sentence it doesn't have a possessive pronoun therefore that there is a proper noun. Number 27. Sheila may either sing or dance in the show. A. May. B. Either sing. C. Or dance. D. In the show. E. No error. The answer is letter E. No error. Remember the correlative conjunction either and or always go together just like neither nor whether or and so on number 28 linda have a crush on my uncle a have b a crush c on d my uncle e no error the answer is letter a have remember have is used for i you, we, they, and plural subject, and Linda is only one or singular, therefore what should we use? Yes, it should be has. So let's correct the sentence. Linda has a crush on my uncle. Number 29. The bees in the farm are fly away because of the noise. A. The bees B. In the farm. C. R. Fly. D. Of the noise. 
E. No error. The answer is letter C. R. Fly. What should it be? It should be R. Flying. What's the rule? If you use is, am, or are, use the in form of the verb. So you are already showing the progressive tense of the verb. So let us correct the sentence. The bees in the farm are flying away because of the noise. And we're down to the last item. Number 30. Our dog found his way to our house. A. Our dog. B. Found. C. His. D. To our house. E. No error. The answer is letter C. His. Why? His is not the correct pronoun referent for the antecedent dog. Do not be confused in movies if they say his or her for the pets because they may be characters in the movies or in stories. But in formal writing, the pronoun that must replace the noun, which is not a person, in a singular subject should be it. So you say it for a thing, an animal, an object, and the like. So that ends our review session for today. I hope that you got high in the test. But if you were not able to get some of the items, you can just go back and follow the rules. So that's it for today. I hope that you have learned something from me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and keep safe.